Hi YouTube. This just came in. It's the Mitsubishi Uni, the 6B pencils. Not to be confused with the Mitsubishi High Uni pencils, which will be one of them that I will compare this to. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Well, let's take a close look at this. You can see some Japanese up there. And Mitsubishi. Okay. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. Cute, but I can't read it. it. Even tells you how to hold a pencil. Hmm. They're all six Bs. Now let's go ahead and open these up. Nice to see they all came back. They all kind of got up and walked off there for a few minutes, but well, very strange. All right, here's a close-up of the pencil. And what I really love about the Mitsubishi pencils. They really have a really nice paint job, very high quality, it's kind of a burgundy paint job and it has this nice little gold band and it has a, a, a nice little um, burgundy tip here and it's black here with some, some lettering, I don't know what that says. You have a green bar here and then of course there's another one gold strip in there and it says 6B on all three sides and yes you heard me right, three sides. And it also says it right on the tip, 6B. So there's no way that you can possibly not tell what this pencil is, no matter where it's laying. Oops, sorry. Hit the camera stand, wherever it's sitting on the table. You'll stop from rolling, but it is triangular. Look at that. Or should we say semi-triangular, because it's rounded off, just like semi-hex. And there's... The center you can see has a nice size core for the 6B. It's really, really a nice looking pencil. And I'm going to sharpen this pencil and we're going to compare it with some other 6Bs that I have. So first thing is to sharpen this pencil. Coom sharpener here. The Coom Masterpiece. All right. Let's see how it sharpens a triangular pencil. Feels weird kind of going in here like it's in an angle. I guess it is. Let's see how it sharpens. Okay. It seems to be a little more difficult to uh, to sharpen it out because I can tell the size of the core being as big as it is and then it's it's starting to slim it down because I'm trying to go as long as possible with this uh, sharpener here. I'm going to go ahead and just put a point on it by going into the number two here. All right. I tell you, that sharpener sure does a job, doesn't it? All right. So right off the bat, the 6B has a very large diameter core, graphite core. And I'm going to go ahead and put my coom away here. We'll get rid of that little housekeeping here. And we'll switch to a clean sheet of paper. I want to compare this with 
some other 6Bs. Now the 6Bs I'm going to use, here's the High Uni from the same brand here, Mitsubishi. I'm going to grab a 6B out of there. There we go, 6B. Notice the paint job is the same, but in direct comparison, it's very interesting the size of these two pencils. If you can see there, okay, of course, one is a semi hex and one is kind of a semi triangular. It's very interesting. How does it feel in my hand? It feels slightly different, but just fine. Fingers kind of rest on each side of the triangle here, and then the thumb rests on the third side. So it's got all three angles, or sides, I should say, all three sides one finger takes. So that's, that's interesting. That's not any less or more comfortable than the uh, regular semi-hex. And basically they are the same size pencil as far as I can tell with my eyes. I'm going to sharpen the other one and I'm going to use a different sharpener this time. This time I'm going to use my Deli Sweet Memories and uh, the reason why is because it has the rubber grip and uh, I don't want to put any scars on my good pencils so we'll just go ahead and pull that out hmm. I don't read the Japanese so I, I hope I got that on the right, right thing Let's see. Okay. It's not as big of a tip. It has a smaller tip. So, let's see. Is that going to control my tip? Let me try that again. Hmm. I'm not sure what that thing does. Let's try another pencil. These are all sharpened. Well, anyway, this is not a sharpener um, video. But I do want a longer tip on that before I compare. It has to be apples to apples. So let me just get a different sharpener then. I'll use this Helix A5, but I'm going to have to uh, put a piece of paper over this. So I don't mess it up. I don't want to scar up my Mitsubishi pencils here. Well, that's the sound I'm looking for. There we go. All right, we'll compare those cores here in a second too. Now, this here is the. Mitsubishi 6B that we just looked at and that we're uh, reviewing uh, in this video. And this one here is my High Uni 6B, it comes in my drawing kit. And if you'll notice that the core size of the High Uni is smaller. That's this one on the left, the High Uni is smaller. Interesting, but they're both 6B, okay? So there's one thing right off the bat is this 6B for these pencils that we're looking at have a thicker core, much larger core. And here is the Mars Lumograph uh, from Stadler. And uh, it's because it's, um, it's so small now. See, it's all that's left, but just so you can see that it is a 6B pencil. I use every bit I can. I don't want to waste my Lumograph pencil here. So I have it on an extension and it looks like it's about ready to bite the dust. And the core size of that looks pretty close to the core size. Let's see if you can tell there. Uh, maybe a little smaller but it is definitely larger than the high uni as you can see yep 
So the Stadler 6B is also uh, thicker than this high uni and it's pretty close though the Mitsubishi mm, well that might be something you have to google then but it looks pretty close but the Mitsubishi does look like it has a slight but the sharpening is different so again I'm not sure I'll be able to sharpen it with this sharpener because it's it's so small. It's small. How do you like that? It's small. Oh look at that. <laughs> it's it just went right through. Okay. Let's see if I can get that to Alright, let's try that. Alright, I was able to do it. There we go. My little tiny one. And Let's compare the cores now. Uh, yeah, the, the one on the right has a slight, slight edge. That's the Mitsubishi. Yeah, it has a slight edge on that. But uh, pretty, pretty close. Anyway, let me put that back on here. These are nice to have. And we'll start comparing. It looks like I dirtied up my paper already. Use this other side here. Okay, so first off, I'm going to our guest of honor here, the Mitsubishi 6B, do a little shading with it. And let me scope up. Let's see how that comes out. It's nice and smooth. Nice and dark. Yeah, it's got good shading, good shading. It, the quality, I, I was expecting the quality to be high, and it is high, very good quality pencil. Good graphite, nice graphite. All right, there's the 6B for the Mitsubishi. And now I'm going to go ahead and compare it with the Mitsubishi High Uni and see how that comes out. And obviously, high quality, feels good, nice good graphic, graphite. I'll lay that down. As far as feel, touch, the whole bit, um, feels pretty much the same. It's nice quality graphite. I really love the Mitsubishi line of pencils from Japan. They're, they're very good. Okay, let's see if we can see a difference um, when we put it on the light box in a minute. Here is the 6B from the Stadler uh, Mars Lumograph. Well, I better write down what this one here is. Uh, this was the Mitsubishi Hayuni. All right. Here we go with the Stadler. Stadler, Stadler. Obviously, smooth, high quality graphite. Good tonal value for 6B, as to be expected. Okay. To the naked eye, they all look the same so far. They look just fine. All right, the next one here that I'm going to use is the graph wood from the uh, Calrandash, the Swiss pencil. And you can see it is a 6B, already sharpened. Oh, I forgot this here is the, um, uh, the Mars. All right, here we go. I'll do it over here. I'm running out of I'm running out of wrist room here. Okay, here we go. Smooth, high quality graphite, as to be expected with the uh, Karandash.
nice pencil. I enjoy this pencil very much. Okay, there you go. The Cadrandash. Right. The next pencil I'm going to use is the Woodless Graphite Pencil and uh, generic brand, I guess, 6B. I love these Woodless pencils. I did the Desert Man in Woodless and I just thought it was fantastic. The air conditioning is coming on, which is kind of a bummer. You can hear the hum. I apologize. Can't wait until summer's over to tell you the truth. Um, right off the bat, I can, I can tell you this. It, it also is a very smooth application, but you probably can tell right off the bat that the woodless um, is darker. It's a darker pencil. Very nice pencil. I love these woodless pencils. Next one I have here is a Tombow. Took from my Tombow set, highest quality here, Mono. It's a 6B and um, high precision drafting. I'll go ahead and use that. Oh, let me write Woodless. There we go. All right, and then Tombow. Here we go with Tombow. Again, smooth application, high quality graphite. They all have been smooth and high quality. It's the only ones I care to use for my drawings. And uh, that goes on nice too. Okay, that's Tombow. All right, I'm going to tear this off. And we'll move it up closer to the screen here. So you can see. Only the woodless comes out the darkest. The rest of them look pretty close to the same. And we'll try the uh, light box. Curtains, please. There we go. Oh, before I do that, there's one more. I have this 6B pencil here. Um, it's a Pacific Arc. And um, it's one of those 2 millimeter clutch pencils. And it's a 6B, so I'll just I'll do that one too. Smooth. High quality graphite. Pacific Arc. All right. Now let's see if you can actually see any difference with it um, with a light box. Hmm. find it hard to um, hard to differentiate these they seem very close alike I know that one's the dark one the woodless All right, well, without doing a side-by-side -side comparison, which is not what I'm going to do in this particular video, but I could always do it in another if you like. Turn on some light here. But if you just look at it, here's the one we're reviewing right here. Here's its sibling, the Hyuni. Here's the Stadler Mars Lumograph, the Carondash, Woodless, Tombow Mono, and the Pacific Arc. 
there, there are some variations. Um, from the naked eye, I can see that the tonal values are slightly different compared to them all. But we're reviewing this one, so I don't want to kind of go and try to figure out which is darker than which is darker than which. I could do that in different videos. You just comment down below if that's what you want to see and, you know, specifically state which one you want to compare with which. But the woodless appears to be the darkest 6B that I have in my possession. And I have some very classy 6B pencils. I have the Mars Lumograph, I have the Carandash, very pricey 6B pencil. So, uh, in comparison, the Woodless still comes out darker. The Mitsubishi that we're reviewing here is right there, and it stands up with the rest. It's an excellent 6B pencil. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy using these for drawing and possibly even writing. Let's try some writing. Though I know it's going to be pretty much a wash as far as writing is concerned. They're probably all going to feel nice and soft and um, they're going to wear down quickly because they're soft pencils. But let's go ahead and just do some writing with the. Let's say you you want it to be your make-believe black wing pencil. Okay, so our guest of honor is the Mitsubishi pencil. 6B. This is the Ooh, nice and dark. Mitsubishi 6B. Soft. Dark. Nice. Yep. You see that? It's a very, very nice pencil. I enjoy writing with this pencil. But it's already wearing down and I'll have to sharpen it really quick because it's a 6B. And the Tombow Mono, this is the Tombow Mono. Also 6B. Soft. Dark. Nice. Okay, and I enjoy writing. It's already worn down with this pencil. I don't recommend using these for writing because they wear down too quick. But there you go. Here's the Pacific Arc 2mm. Pacific Arc 2mm 6B. Okay, uh, it seems to be a little more substantial as far as wear is concerned, though that can just be um, a placebo because I'm holding a completely different kind of pencil with more substance to it. But it's also soft and it's nice and dark. Okay, so it's the same. Good pencil. Okay. All oh, the woodless. Well, this should be interesting to write with a woodless. Woodless. Graphite. That's wearing really fast. 6B. Um, I don't enjoy writing with it. Don't want to write with it. Don't write with it. Um, but it is soft, dark, nice. And I just wore it down. It's worn down. So it needs to be sharpened again. The Karandash. The Karandash. Boom. All right. It is a 6B. Oh, it's definitely soft. Dark. Nice. All right. Good pencil. Yeah, pretty much across the board. Here we go with the... Um, Stadler, Statler, Stadler, Mars, Lumograph 100. It is soft, dark, nice. OK, 
Okay, kind of redundant now. And I know that this Mitsubishi High Uni will be the same. Mitsubishi High Uni. Uni? Uni? 6B. Guess what? Soft. Dark. Nice. All right, well, there you go. You can write with it. It's all nice, soft, dark. 6B, 6Bs are all soft, dark, and nice. All these are high quality. All right. So, as I had said before, and I'll say it again, that this 6B pencil, this Mitsubishi Uni 6B triangular pencil, thick core, very soft, high quality graphite, and uh, be excellent to draw with. I highly recommend it. Not expensive. Got a whole dozen here. Didn't cost me much on Amazon. So there you go. Great drawing pencil. All these, not so much for writing um, because they wear down to, you'll be like sharpening after every sentence. And that goes for just about any six feet. But great as a drawing or drafting pencil. Well, hey, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and encourage more videos to be made. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.